All right, guys, so let's assume this is the stencil we're using. I'm using Procreate. I've got it all lined out. If you want to watch another video about how I make the stencil, you can check that out on the channel. But simply, I'm just going to take you through the process from my tablet. I'm going to go print it to my Canon printer. And here is what we get. Now, at this point, I try to figure out the size of the stencil I want, the size of the tattoo. So I can size it up and down here on the printer. I'll get it to the size, I'll cut it out, we'll check to see if it works. Once I find a size I want, I will then make another copy of that so I can run it through the stencil maker, which is next. But here I'm showing you how you can just simply 90%, 70%, pick a percentage, pick a size. Once you find it, then we're running it through our very simple stencil machine. I have used many other stencil machines, but this one is by far my favorite just because I feel like the stencil is the best. It holds the strongest. Next, we're gonna be using something to clean the skin. Here I'm using isopropyl alcohol. You can use a 70%, 90%, uh, but nonetheless, I just really wanna get all the oils and everything off the skin. And then once you're done, dry it really well. So get all that off. We've cleaned it, now we just wanna dry it. Next, we're lining up for shaving. So I use green soap for this. And I just lather that paper towel or that shop rag really well. That's gonna be the what I use to shave the skin. Now in this case, there wasn't really much hair at all, but I still go through the same process, even if they, you know, keep their legs pretty unhairy. And uh, it's the same process, just shave the skin real good. Next, I'm gonna figure out exactly where we want it, get an idea of where we want it. Once we figure out exactly where we want it, I wanna mark it. And I always put a piece of tape at the top. Mark the tape so you know if the tape moves. Then I go down to the bottom here and put a mark on the stencil and the skin so I know exactly where to line it up. Now I put a piece of tape underneath of it so I can stick it to the client, or in this case, the client can hold onto it to keep it up and out of the way. Next, I use Anchored. This is by far my favorite stencil application product healthy amounts good size tattoo and we're just gonna really rub that in it's an extremely important part of the process i think uh, sometimes we put the stencil on too soon really rub that uh stencil solution into the skin till it's like almost dryish very 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 minimal amount and a lot of times i will add a second coat i'll get that rubbed in really well let the skin absorb that and then put a second layer on top of that and sometimes you will have a little excess because maybe it's just too much. Um, and at that point, you just kind of dry your gloves off the paper towel and sort of wipe it down, get a little of the excess. But I'm still looking for kind of a dry, really lightly tacky. Uh, if you do it while it's too wet, it can oftentimes bleed your lines out a little bit. So here you can see I'm drying, just kind of really trying to get it in there. Next, I'm going to dry my glove off and give it a few wipes to get the streaks away and a final feel there. So here we go, most important part again, next important part, make sure that tape is on good and I'm keeping my head way low. You might not be able to see here in the camera, but my head is really low and I'm really just focusing on those blue marks. A little bit of a faith run here. And you not worried about what's going on above, one swift motion all the way down. Make sure it's lined up here. You can see that in this case, we got it really well that time, which is awesome. Next, we're gonna sm smush, push out the stencil around carefully and then apply some heavy pressure. If you needed to, you could put some relief cuts along the side, but this is kind of a flat surface. So I'll hold it here for about 10 seconds or so, and then, uh, and then we'll be ready to kind of peel it off. Now when peeling the stencil off, I don't really just take it off quickly. I'm, I'm watching it, seeing if there's anything that should be there that isn't so I can quickly push the stencil back down as you see here yep real quick before you get a double print you can push it right back down but as you can see guys the stencil is coming out pretty stinking crisp all those tiny little lines aren't blurred together they're all individual lines and on a tattoo like this you certainly want to give yourself the best chance at doing it now again take another look at it all crisp all there um, and we're gonna let this dry for about 10 to 15 minutes. Now, I've been tattooing this thing and wiping this thing and wiping this thing and wiping this thing. And here I am just trying to show you guys that 
if you do this right, if you take your time, give it the proper amount of time dry, it will work out. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like, subscribe, and until next time, peace.